Hello, boys and girls. Okay, so in this little short video, we're going to um, go over how to drag and drop. I know a lot of you are already familiar with this, done it with me last year, um, but we're gonna be working with some different types of images and it's just better for me to show you now. There's some different types of drag and drops I'm gonna show you um, and the best way to move them and if we make a mistake, how to correct it. Okay, so there's a couple different types of drag and drops. So let's just say I wanna pull the class. Who likes vanilla ice cream better than or chocolate ice cream? So you have to decide one of the two. So I have these stars here. Now, if you click it and you get the text box, okay? So here we have the text box. This is an image that I just put in here. There are multiple stars under this. So there are different ways we can move it here. Now, I'm looking for this little four-way cursor. Do you see the little four-way cursor? It's like two little arrows, uh, perpendicular lines. So I wanna put that cursor on the line part. I don't wanna put it on the box because the box, it turns into an arrow. If I do that, it's going to expand it. So what I wanna do is I wanna move the star like that. It keeps it the same size. It doesn't take out the whole thing. Um, so what I want to do is I want to click on it. Now watch happens if I move one of the, if I do put it on the arrow, it makes it bigger. Oops. Now the reason I, you might say, well, that's cool. I want my star bigger. But the reason I have the stars that size is if everybody starts putting bigger stars in the boxes, we will run out of room. So let's say you made this mistake. So if you make this mistake, all you have to do is just go to the undo button right here. Okay, um, and that will, and you can go back and you can move your star. Now, this would be a case where if I wanted something more anonymous, so like if I didn't really want anybody's name on it, or if, if it was a math activity, and or if, if I just wanted to take a poll. Um, if this was a math activity or something where you had to put numbers in certain things, then I might need separate different images. So over here on the right, I have text boxes. The difference between this box these boxes and the stars is these are text boxes. They're not images. They're text box boxes because I have everybody's individual name in it. Now I didn't do the whole class, but normally I would do the whole class and you would see them anywhere. They might even be, they might even be off the page sometimes if I don't have enough room and that's okay. They can still be moved and used. So with text, text boxes, the same kind of thing, you're looking for that four way cursor. You want to put it on the line and then you would move it. And this way, I now I know who, in this case, wants chocolate and vanilla ice cream. Let's see. And now, if I use my cursor here and I touch this, I'm making it bigger. Again, it's not a huge deal if it's slightly bigger. But what happens if everybody's making it bigger? We run out of room. So go back. If you do make that mistake, go back and just do the undo button, and it will go back to the way it was. Undo button is your friend because. Um, no matter what mistake you make, you can go back, even if you delete it by accident. So if I right click it, sometimes people delete it by accident. Uh oh, Dylan's name is gone. We can't use it anymore. What can I do? Go to the undo button, put it back. Same for the images too. So we can move it just like that. So it's really about being careful how we move things. Again, don't touch this thing on the top. This is going to just change the the angle of it. We don't want to do that. I'm going to undo. I'm not even going to try to move it back like this. I don't want to move it back because I'll never get it perfect. So I'm just going to do the undo. Go back to exactly what I had before. Sometimes you have to hit the button, undo button more than once and that's okay. Um, so just that's what you, the easiest way for drag and drop. If you have any other questions, let me know.